Sophia had kittens, and all kittens have been adopted. Now she needs a Noah was formed in 2004 um, to help homeless uh, cats. We do just cats because uh, everybody in the group uh, is really uh, focused on that, and we um, very you know, a lot of experience. Um, so we have. Um, We've rescued, it's an average of 650 cats a year that we're placing, cats and kittens. Um, I was actually uh, volunteering at another shelter and one of the directors asked me if I would like to be their adoption coordinator. And I thought about it and I said, oh, how hard can that be? I said, okay. So decided to do that and two years later I ended up, a year and a half later I ended up being president. And it's two years, three years ago we ended up going into PetSmart in Plymouth. Um, we have the adoption center down there, and that's when things really, really took off, and we really got a, um, got a lot bigger and did a lot more adoptions at that point. My husband uh, converted a shed that we have um, to a shelter. Um, in Massachusetts, if you're going to take in any cats from out of state, you need to have a Department of Agriculture approved facility. And doing the purebred rescue, a lot of them come from out of state. So to continue doing that, we needed some type of a place uh, to isolate them. They need to be isolated for 48 hours once they arrive here. So he, um, he took the shed, converted it to a shelter, and right now out there I believe there's nine cats, sometimes there's more than that. There's cages, but there's things to sleep in, and there's, um, there's cat condos and all kinds of things to climb on, and most of them are out running free. Um, they've got a radio out there and heat and air conditioning and hot and cold running water, and it's kind of a home away from home until they can find a, a permanent place.